A couple months ago, I asked my Instagram followers if they had any tips on making a matcha latte at home. I live in Dallas, and I haven't really found one here that matches up to the quality of the ones I've had while I've been traveling. A few people responded and gave me some good tips and even suggested some really good brands that I should try. But my friend Melina was kind enough to actually send me two packages of matcha as well as a ceremonial matcha kit so that I could make it at home the right way. After watching a couple of YouTube videos and getting the technique right, I started making my own matcha lattes at home. The suggestions that everybody gave me helped me make a really, really awesome drink. I was very happy with my accomplishment and being able to drink these at home because I love them so much. But in the process of making these, I found out just how messy matcha powder is. <laughs> And it got me thinking, I wonder if I can paint with this. There's a good chance that this isn't even gonna work. I've seen people use pigments to create their own colors whenever they're painting, and a lot of these things are made out of natural materials. So I thought, why not give it a shot? And I started my journey to see if I could paint using matcha powder as a pigment. I'm here at Azel Art Supply in Richardson, Texas, and I just want to hop in and see if they can help me find something to mix the matcha powder in so I can actually use it more like an acrylic paint. So I started the painting process by printing out a reference image of this cowgirl that I draw. I chose this cowgirl because I had painted her previously with the terracotta paint that I have. I mixed up my matcha powder with this matte medium that I got from the art store. And as I started to mix it, I noticed it got clumpy super fast. This was a problem people told me I'd run into while making the actual matcha. Once I got it smooth enough, I started with some simple brush strokes. These are some kind of open brush strokes that I use on a lot of my paintings and it's what my original painting of this cowgirl looked like. It was really hard to keep it together and keep smooth lines running because the matcha was so clumpy. I kept having to stop in the middle of my lines because I couldn't get an even flow. Some lines were easier than others, but you can also see some corners where things started just clumping up and drying super hard. It was drying very fast compared to regular acrylic paint. Once I had the whole painting completed, I was actually really happy with how it came out. I really liked the brush strokes, but I wasn't happy with all the little clumping corners. When I finished the whole painting, I was really excited to see how bright the green was. The pigment was really awesome until about two weeks later when the whole thing just faded and turned brown. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't recommend using matcha powder as a pigment. It did not work. It was clumpy, it was hard, it was very, very strange, and in the end, all of the green tint just really went away. It turned brown. It was actually pretty ugly. I'm super bummed. I really like the way the painting came out and I was hoping to give it away to one of you guys, but I really don't feel good about it in that color that it came out. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to put this one in the trash. It's the trash, isn't it's it? It's a sweet, sweet trash. But now I know the results of painting with matcha and you do too. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can also hit that like button down there. It helps me out tremendously because it tells YouTube that this is a good quality video and they should show it to other people who would also like this video. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification button down there so you can be notified every time I release a new video. If you wanna follow my day-to-day -day stuff, you can you can find me on Instagram at Nick Q and on TikTok at Nick Q 83. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for checking it out. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one later.